So in this video, I'm gonna try to do a series of tutorial about the Perl programming language. By definition, I'm not an expert in this field of Perl. So it's just a language I want to learn how to code in Perl. And I decided to learn Perl in 2023, actually, we are in the end. So um, a lot of people say I uh, should choose a more popular language like Go, Rust, Python, for example. But I decided to go with the Perl programming language, mainly because uh, I think one of the important thing is the paradox of choice. So basically, if you have a lot of choice, it's gonna break. Uh, you're gonna have more fatigue in decide which one is to choose for uh, right for you. And what I mean with that, it's basically because for Python there is tons of online resources like book, tutorials, YouTube video, and this might be like overwhelming for you when you try to start where you have to stick out. On the other hand, with Perl, since this is a very old language, it's outdated, there is not a lot of hype for it, but it's still used. There is not a lot of resources, so you have to careful picking which resources you want to learn. So, so for this reason, I decided to buy this book. It's a book from O'Reilly. It's learning Perl programming language. And I bought it off Amazon for like 8 euro, very inexpensive. So I'm gonna use this as a reference. And then I have a lot of other carefully choose online. So I'm sure those are good lecture about programming language. So I already recorded a very small script that I did on the Mac OS. I'm gonna show you because this is gonna be like just the introduction to this is gonna be a beginner friendly course because I am a beginner, I want to learn Perl and then I'm gonna show you on these YouTube videos what I'm learning I'm using few resources online and I want to make some update video about this language uh, Okay right, guys, so let's go on PowerShell So if we go Perl minimize version you can see I already have installed the version on this Windows machine and I'm gonna do the same simple hello world script that I've done on the macOS machine. I decided to use Vim as the main code editor because I'm quite familiar with Vim since I have to learn how to use it about a year ago. But yeah. Okay. We can go ahead and use use script use warning warnings then print hello world all right we save and then if i say uh, new for the video pl we're gonna get a hello world now if i don't think i can do this okay change mode is not possible so I think I, I don't actually remember how to do this on Windows So let's go quickly One of the things I want to show you guys is the debugging process So for example Chiaka mod on PowerShell Alright, let's wait a little bit You know this laptop is pretty slow This is a Surface Pro 3 running uh, macOS so now I'm going to show you which version we have installed. You can see my current version. We're going to use Vim as text editor. Vim my first program that PL. So first thing you want to do, I'm going to say use strict and use warning. We're just going to print hello world now if you say perl first program.pl you're gonna get our hello world it's fine right but there is another cool feature of for perl so if you change the program with the change mod change mod plus x and then the name of the program 
you can make it as executable, then run it like a script. But the issue here is not quite working yet. This is because we are missing the shebang line. Prepare for yourself, I'm gonna open Vim here and then go to another file that had this line. You can see that this line and you can copy in Vim and then paste it here. Save and quit and see if it's working. So with this first line it's gonna be a pound sign and exclamation point. With this line you can basically tell the computer to read it a per script instead of bash. Clearly it need to be the first line. Alright now it's work. So basically what I needed to do is just put it as first line.